In Fire Emblem Three Houses, recruiting is in fact a thing that you can do. But unlike previous Fire Emblem titles, the system is very different. Because of the house system being linked to the character's region, it makes sense that characters tend to not want to come to your house. However, with enough gift slinging, drowning them in tea, or just by showing off your skills as a professor, students will eventually flock over to your house. The mechanics to recruiting is relatively simple in execution, with the exception of these characters, Dorothea, Felix, and Ignatz, who have slightly higher requirements for them wanting to join your house, wanting B proficiencies in their specific weapon type. Thankfully, however, most of the other characters will require a C proficiency in a certain weapon type, plus 15 to 20 in the respective stats that the students are looking for in you, the professor. You can also lower the requirements to these requisites by getting to know these students and building supports up with said students. By getting a C support with a character, the requirements go down tremendously, and by the time you get the B support, they'll be ready to be recruited by the next time you have a chance to talk to them, or simply randomly throughout the week they'll request to join your house. So if you really want a unit and you're struggling to raise a proficiency, just give them a bunch of gifts and spend as much time with them as you can in tea time so you can build a support conversation with them. I recommend that you watch Chaz's video which I'll be linking in the description below. He'll highlight how to get characters through building support conversations quickly opposed to building stats and maximizing numbers that I'll be going over in this video. Realistically though, you'd want to mix and match both, so I highly recommend that you watch both videos. But you know, come on, after this one though, right? Wait, wait, wait where, where are you going, bro? Hey, where, where are you? Come on, come on, where are you going? It also seems to be that the requirements for certain characters are towards the mid game, meaning some characters are harder to recruit at the very start of the game right off the bat. Not every student follows this rule, and this kind of system seems to be in place so you just can't recruit everyone right off the bat at the very start because they want you to get attached to your house first. However, I think after the War of the Lions and Eagles map where you fight the other houses in a mock battle in Empire territory is when the requirements become significantly less from what was at the start, and I'll be listing that in this video. But please do not quote me on this, if I am wrong on this for whatever reason, I'll put a note of it in both the description and in the pinned comments section below. As for the most commonly asked questions, can you recruit everyone? And the answer is yes, you can recruit everyone if you properly plan out and do things. Admittedly, it is easier to do in normal mode because you aren't restricted in the number of battles that you can do during the weekends and you can spend hours upon hours just grinding out weapon proficiencies if you desire. The second question that I think people would ask is, is there a best order to recruit everyone? Probably, and I'm currently working on something like that with as little grinding as possible, but I would like to test out the gotta catch them all before I attempt to make a video guide on it. And finally, I want to recruit X, but Y is better. Who should I recruit? Whoever you want. Recruit who you think would enhance your gameplay first. If you're unable to recruit everyone, or if you're setting restrictions on yourself to not recruit everyone, then recruit whoever you think would enhance your gameplay first. I can't stress this enough. A game like Fire Emblem is far more enjoyable if you use characters you like, more so than being me, a robot that punches numbers. So with that being said, let's jump into the stat requirements for each and every one of the houses, starting with the Black Eagles. The unrecruitable characters from the Black Eagles house seems to be Edelgard and Hubert, so if these two are your favorite characters and you haven't chose the Black Eagles, then I'm sorry. At this current moment in time, there isn't a way to recruit both these characters. But without further ado, here are the requirements for each of the characters. Dorothea requires Charm and Authority B. Ferdinand requires Dex and Armor C. Bernadetta requires Strength and Bow C. Caspar requires Strength and Gauntlet C, Petra requires Dex and Riding C, Linhart requires Magic and Reason C. The Black Eagle's house in general has a decent amount of mages and what some would consider a great dancer in Dorothea. She is very much worth the pickup if you think your house lacks a good option for dancers. But do keep in mind that she is one of the units that require a B in the weapon proficiency. The other two characters that I found to be decently good are Caspar and Linhart. Caspar is a great glass cannon, especially in conjunction with the gauntlets, so if you're lacking a good physical unit, Caspar is a great pickup. 
Otherwise, it's not a bad idea to pick up Linhard as he can get early Physic uses by the time he gets Seat Proficiency in Faith. But again, be sure to recruit who you think would enhance your gameplay first. Moving on to the next house, the Blue Lions, it seems at this moment in time both Dimitri and Dudu are the only characters that can't be recruitable. So if these two are your favorite characters and you haven't chosen the Blue Lions as your main house, you're kinda out of luck. But with that being said, here are the requirements for each student in the Blue Lions house. Felix requires Speed and Sword B, Mercedes requires Magic and Bow C, Ash requires Charm and Lance C, Annette requires Magic and Faith C, Sylvain requires Charm and Reason C, and Ingrid requires Dex and Flying C. Sylvain will join you automatically without the needed requirements if you talk to him and you're a female. The Blue Lions has a lot of great Lance and Cav units, so if you're lacking these specific weapon and class types, it's worth looking here. As for my recommendation, I suggest picking up Felix. While he's the only character that requires sword and speed, and a high sword ranking at that, your main avatar character's weapon of choice is a sword, so getting to a B rank in sword shouldn't be all too difficult of a task. He's also one of the best and easiest units to use just by the fact that he has an easy to use personal skill and a crest that procs on normal attacks. The other unit that's worth picking up is Ash, for the great utility that he can provide as a unit. If you have Ash, you aren't required to have a thief or assassin to every map, since his personal skill is lock touch. And finally, like Linhart, you can pick up Mercedes as she gets an early physics at Faith C. In the Golden Tears house, the only character that you can't recruit is the heir of the Leicester Alliance himself, Claude. And yes, you heard me correctly, you can indeed recruit Hilda. From what I've heard, it's after the third month and you have to follow specific story elements, but I'm about as lost as you are. If you have the option to get her though, she is one of the best axe users in the game in conjunction with her crest weapon. She's a threat, and once details are out, I'll be sure to make a follow up video outlining how to get Hilda. With the beast that is Hilda out of the way, here are the requirements for each one of the students in the Golden Deer's house. Lorenz requires Charm and Reason C, Hilda requires Charm and Axe C, Raphael requires Strength and Heavy Armor C, Lysithia requires Magic and Faith C, Ignatz requires Dex and Authority B, Marianne requires Magic and Writing C, and Leone requires Strength and Lance C. The Golden Deer's house seems to have a lot of great variety, but they seem to have a lot of characters that excel in bows. So if your army is struggling in the bow department, it's worth looking here. As for the characters I recommend, I recommend picking up Lysithia. She is arguably the best mage in the game just by the fact that she can reach ridiculous numbers on her magic stats very early and will continue to have high magic stats in the mid to late game. While she'll probably never get a point in defense or resistance, Lysithia doesn't care as she's scorching her enemies with her magic anyways. The other character, like Linhart and Mercedes, it's worth picking up Marianne just to get an early physics user which could help your squad tremendously. Never underestimate the power of healing from a distance. For your convenience, here's a flowchart that you can take a look at and something that I'll also be listing down below in the imager link in the description below. Hopefully this can help you visualize and help you plan out getting certain characters. This flowchart is not tied to a specific house either, so keep this in mind when recruiting. So if you've recruited a certain character, you can consider the next option following the flowchart for easier recruitment as they'll require much less work than swapping to a whole new stat and proficiency. The only character, and fittingly so, that sits outside of the flowchart is Felix, as both his requirements, sword, and speed are unique to him and him only. There are also a few characters that want unique weapon types that are exclusive to themselves but not the stats, starting with Casper with brawling, Ingrid with flying, and Hilda with axes. When reading this list, the red lines that go downwards all indicate the same type of stat that the characters would want. For instance, Petra would want Dexterity and Riding, and Ingrid would also want Dexterity, but a different proficiency in flying. To quickly go over the colored lines, red lines are an indicator for stats, meant to be read from bottom to top or top to bottom, whichever way you want. The light blue line is meant to indicate the heavy armor proficiency brothers, Ferdinand and Raphael. 
The blue line is meant for Petra and Marianne, who are sisters that want riding proficiencies. The purple line are for Ignatz and Dorothea, who both want authority. The yellow lines are for the girls that both want bow proficiencies. And the orange line is meant to indicate the two characters, Ash and Leone, wanting Lance proficiency. And finally, the green line is meant for all the characters that want magic, whether that be reason or faith. With that being said, I hope the resources that I've built can be of use to you. The images are once again in the description below if you're interested in having the images saved. Anyways, this has been JAIK. If you want to stay up to date with more video guides and resources regarding Fire Emblem Three Houses and their mechanics, consider subscribing. And with that, thanks for watching, and as always, I hope to see you guys again next time.